All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honours. Today, all the apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth, and those of you that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson is going to be called Yahabashai is the Word which was manifested in the flesh. Yes, Yahabashai came in the flesh. Right? He was the word in the flesh. Okay, let's go to John 1. And we're going to start at verse 14. Okay. And the word was made flesh. Okay. Which was what? Yehoshua. So he was the word walking up on earth. <laughs> okay. The word was made flesh. And when you go into that word, word is logos. Logos. Yes, log logos. Type it in, see if it comes up. No, nope, for some reason something's wrong with the volume. That's okay. But it's logo logos. Logos. So you have a was the word upon earth in the flesh. Okay. And the second person, the Godhead, and Godhead goes into divine and shown forth conspicuous conspicuously. From him, his words and these. Let me type it in again, see if it will come up. Strong's G there we go. 3056. Lagos. 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 Logos. Okay, that's the word for words. Okay, so let's get back to this. And the word was made flesh. Okay, so yes, he came in human flesh. Okay, and dwelt amongst us. And how would you know that? Why? Because he was nailed to the cross. So he would have to have what? Flesh. Okay. And who dwelt amongst us what the apostles and we beheld his glory okay his majesty and the glory as the only begotten begotten means to be bring, bring forth of the father yahweh for the grace and truth john bear witness of him and cried saying this is this was he of whom i spake because what john six months before what he was what teaching yahweh the coming of yahweh the return of yahweh Okay, the baptism of what water, which was a representation of Yahweh. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me, and of his fullness have we received the grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Mashiach. So you had the law, yeah, that was given by Moses, that was appointed to Moses to give us, but grace and the truth. Came by Yahweh Shai through what that new covenant. All right. Let's go to Philippians two and six. When I get this in the right order. Okay. Because I could look, I could be doing videos on prophecies, but the main thing is Yahweh Shai pushing Yahweh Shai pushing the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which the spirit of Yahweh Shai is prophecy. But you have to know of Yahweh Shai. Okay, because that's prophecy as well. Let's go to Philippians 2 and 6. Who being in the form of the Most High, thought in a robbery to be equal with the Most High. Form of the Most High. Image of the Most High Yahweh. In the flesh. Okay, thought in a robbery to be equal with the Most High. Why? Because they're in the what? Alliance. They're in agreement. Okay, it doesn't mean Yahabashai is the most high. No, they're in agreement. You have the father and you have the son. But made himself of no reputation. He wasn't seeking reputation. He wasn't seeking fame, vainglory, and took upon him the form of a servant. The image, the likeness of a servant, which was supposed to take on what the image and the form of a servant. And was made in the likeness of men flesh okay so now let's go to ezekiel 3 and 1 
Ezekiel 3 and 1, Yahabsha, yes, he is the word. And it says, Ezekiel 3 and 1, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Okay, which would represent this word. Eat this roll. Okay, so if you're eating of this roll, you're eating of Yahabashai. Does that mean you're actually eating it? A lot of it, we're going to get into it. Eat this roll, which is the word, the scriptures. And it is a roll. Okay, you ever had a roll of bread? It looks similar to the scriptures. Okay, you fold it. Okay, you roll it. And go speak unto the house of Israel. So this is what we're commanded to do. To eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I open my mouth and he calls me to eat that roll. Okay. To devour the roll. What the scriptures, the words. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat. Fill thy bowels with thy roll that I give thee. When did I eat? And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them and the word is what the raw so before you go out and speak unto them you have to what to devour the raw which is Yahabashai and he comes in the volume of the book which is Yahabashai so now we went to that let's jump straight to John 6 and 54 to further expound make these lessons as, as simple as possible that's that's the whole um duty when I'm bringing out these lessons to make it as easy and simple as possible so you can understand. Let's go to John 6 and 54. Start at 51. I am the living bread. Okay, a bread is a roll again. Okay. Which came down from heaven. Speaking of Yahabashai. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Okay. So are you eating of Yahabashai? This word you're going to live forever because this word Yahabashai gives what? Eternal life. So if you're eating of Yahabashai, you're giving eternal life. Okay. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. Okay. Which is the words which I will give for the life of the world. Those that are within Israel. The Jews, they all strove among themselves saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Because they were carnal. They never had a spiritual mind. That's why you've got to be spiritual. And that's why the scriptures with all that wisdom get understanding okay then Yahweh said unto them verily verily I say unto you except ye eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you have no life in you okay so if you're eating of his flesh what you're eating of this word because this word would be like an unto Yahweh's flesh his body okay just like the Christian churches you have something called what that holy communion okay Remember when you were younger? I remember when I was younger. When I was younger, what I remember, I was I was raised up in church. I was younger. Okay. I went to church. I had no I had no um what's it? I had no what's the word? What's the word? I had no choice but to. Okay, and what they would give you that little bread, that little little tiny piece of bread and that red wine. And they would say, Drink it. This is his flesh and this is his blood. This was a representation. But it's actually what the words that is a reputation, representation of what his flesh and his blood, which representation of what his sufferings. Because when you what eat this word, when you devour it, you're partaking in Yahweh's sufferings. Okay. Unless you drink his blood, you have no life in you. Okay. And there's what life in the blood. Okay. And this ain't talking about adrenochrome. What's it called? It adrenochrome when you drink the blood. Now we're not telling you to do that. Okay. That's some satanic left hand sided stuff. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh. That's why they were what stumbling at that. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh. My blood. Have eternal life. Okay. Everlasting life. Okay. And I will raise him up at the last day. And hopefully let them be raised up now. And this is the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. So Yahweh knew what to say to have the people stumble and what get offended. Okay, he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, I live by the Father. So he that eateth me, he shall live by me. So what's you part of eating Yahweh Shai? We went to Ezekiel 3. What? Eat the whole raw. That's part of you eating Yahweh Shai, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, this works. So now we're going to go to Psalms 119 and 105. Okay.
It says thy word is. Oh, you know what? Bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Start at three. How sweet are thy words unto my unto my taste? Okay. So again, it says sweet and thy words, and it says taste. Because this words also refer to what different things? Bread. Okay. Honey. Yes, yeah, sweeter than honey to my mouth. So you can also refer this word to what? Honey. And you don't eat too much honey because you could throw up. So there's a balance with that. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Okay. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Okay. Therefore, I hate every false way. Why? Because through understanding of the precepts, what? It opens you up to what? The false ways of this world. Thy word is a lamp. So thy words, you have a shy. He is that lamp unto us. Remember, because the lamp is what? What does it give? Light. And Yahweh is also known as what? The light. Okay. Unto my feet. Okay. And a light unto my path. So Yahweh will always keep what he's hopeful elect on that right path. Right. Is there anything else? One more. I may shut up on this. Don't want to drag this out too much. Second Ezra is 15 and 2. Okay, let's start at one. Behold, speak though in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. So we get into prophecy, and prophecy ain't just it's not just one thing, it's not just martial law. Prophecy is also, also what the witness and the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Okay, which I will put in thy mouth. Okay, so it's Yahweh that puts his words in the mouth, saith the Lord, and calls them to be written in paper. So the word which is Yahweh Shai is being written what within paper. Okay, for they are faithful and true. So you have a shy. He is that word that is faithful and true. Okay, he is that word. All right, you have a shy was the word which was what walking in what flesh. Okay, upon earth to experience what we go through, the pain we go through, the sufferings we go through. So, with this lesson, I hope this was edifying and I hope I keep it as basic. And as simple, simple as possible. Lord willing, I want to do that with my lessons. Make it as simple as possible. Okay. And until the next time. Shalom.